the 1990 Batman Dark Knight collection of action figures had some deluxe figures. So let's open up this Claw Climber deluxe figure. Check out what it can do. Definitely never got to have any deluxe figures. Probably a little bit more expensive than the other standard figures in the, of the line. Even the standard ones came with a lot of accessories. So we'll have to see if this is really worth the extra price of coming in a box. See what kind of accessory it comes with. Looks like he's got a big climbing kind of accessory. And he's got his own unique color as well, which is cool. Obviously this box has been through some things. It's very uh, dirty and stained, so still originally sealed. So it's still new inside, but it's no beauty to keep on the shelf. So we'll just open it up. See what we got inside here. A little dusty even from being in the box. Get that dust off here. But here he is dust and all still on, but uh, this color they have marked as a fireproof cobalt. They just give little names or abilities to them just to try and spark your imagination as a kid of why he had these different color suits. So maybe I would go with that or maybe you'd make your own playing around with them. This is supposed to be his fireproof suit. Kind of a maroon almost to purple but it's got kind of a shiny finish to it. But otherwise it's the standard figure mold of the time with just the gold Batman symbol and belt but just his own colors for the specialty of this deluxe figure. But we've got his accessory pack in its own bag here. Oh, I see and the wings are kind of a matching color to him as well. And we have a second pack here with what seems to be a missile. The bat missile. Oh, and the clip inside too. Taking a close look at this, it's got like some hoses and some general detail and the bat wings are kind of textured to be almost organic, like they're real bat wings. Very strange there. We got a button here, probably for that missile spot at the top. Interesting mechanism here with the wheel. Rolling it, you can see kind of the, the shape in the wheel causing the mechanism to make the wings flap. It's very, very strange looking on that end. Looks like you just take the clip and put here so that it can clip to Batman's back. And then of course we have the missile at the top, which is just for the look, but also for the feature of shooting the missile. Always a welcome feature. Bam. Pretty powerful. You just push down on the trigger to shoot the missile. And it goes pretty far. So this is the wall climber. You have the removable cape. Might be better just to get that off there. Seems to have a much more rounded clip on his cape. So he'll just wear this pack. It's a pretty big one to be putting on. <laughs> I believe the idea is this roller is like a wheel. He will climb the wall and the bat wings will kind of move as he climbs the wall. It's not climbing the wall on its own or anything with a rope or whatever. It's just your own playing around that this is gripping the wall somehow that he's climbing up. Not the greatest play feature I've ever seen, <laughs> but very big accessory. And then we have the missile launcher and he does look kind of cool with the big bat wings on it. In the back of the box, it does also recommend that it can slide down a string anyway. If you have your own string with the way these bat wings hook back here, that these can kind of be on like a zip line of their own. So a little bit extra design in there. You could probably run a string through the missile part too since it has these holes. But mostly it was just that kind of their idea of the interesting mechanism of this wheel making the bat wings kind of turn as you rolled them. But not the coolest accessory, a little interesting, but more interesting probably just this color suit just to have another color of Batman in my collection of this 90s line after the first Batman movie. I'll be opening a lot more of these up and checking them out, adding them to my collection, showing the ones I had as a kid as well. That's what I like to do here is show my retro collections, retro themed or actual old figures like this one, showing what I had before and what I'm getting now to kind of complete some of my older collections or just things I never even got to have as a kid before. So I think I'll be seeing you in the next video either way.